Scientists have discovered the oldest known life on Earth, and it's still alive, genetically isolated for two billion years. This discovery could mean a whole heck of a lot for life on Mars. We're gonna talk about it. Curiosity found what very well might be fossils, but there's also the potential for an enormous ocean to be under Mars's crust. If there is life, it could still be there. Our Earth and Mars came into existence around 4.6 billion years ago. We had long thought that the earliest life on Earth popped up 1.6. Mars lost its atmosphere, though, around 3.5 to 4 billion years ago. But remember, it may also have water in it already, liquid water, which is a great cook pot for life to form and take hold. As for our little buddies, they were found in a 2 billion year old rock just hanging out, undisturbed, just 50 feet underneath the surface. That is molten lava that at some point solidified. And then microbes got in through little cracks and eventually were sealed there for an eternity. They were able to survive by having very low metabolisms. They have a stable environment and they have relatively stable genetics. But that also means that is the only environment that they can ever survive in. They spent billions of years living in this tiny microcosm. The next thing you should ask yourself is opening it up fatal to them. The answer is yes. So when we go to Mars, if we find life in the most extreme environment, are we going to end that life by investigating it? And that's something we really need to think about. As well, are we going to end up introducing microbes from our world to a new one? How much information will we lose in doing that? 